guys, as I promised you today, we're going to actually uh, talk time and numbers, and we're going to talk uh, what I'm going to what I'm going to want to see, and then we're going to go from there. And I probably am not going to touch anything in the uh, upper transfer ports on this 451 today. But uh, we'll show you what the setup looks like anyway. So I've got the timing wheel set up on the, this 51. And what I've done is um, just welded a, a bolt to a nut that fixed the uh, threads on the crankshaft there. And took me a piece of really stiff wire, run it on the bolt, put a nut on the back side to hold it still so it don't move. And as of right now, my timing numbers, this is what I've got. Which the uh, transfer port part, you know, it's kind of hard uh, to read that. I've got that on my right with the Sharpie. And we're actually gonna try to get five more degrees out of the intake. And I'm okay with the exhaust roof being at 101. So uh, I guess guys, we're gonna start grinding on this uh, intake, uh, grind the floor of the intake a little bit. And then we're gonna put it back on and see where we're at. And our switch on this cylinder right here is um, 62 thousandths, uh, which is a little bit more than what I would like. But it should make it easy to start, easy to pull over, and we may change that eventually and uh, go and mill a base down, gain another three thousandths or um, even take forty thousandths off the cylinder and see what happens but uh, we will check the um, compression on this after i get the cylinder mounted and uh, get my port uh, my intake port like i want it um, so we're going to take this cylinder off i'm going to do some grinding on it and uh, we'll be back all right, so what I've got here is I've actually got my marks of uh, what material I want to take off. Got it all marked. And if you look down in here in the intake port, I don't want to go any further than that line right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in through here. And I'm just going to work back and forth until I get down about that line. And I'm gonna try to do this and film at the same time. We'll see how this works. All right, so I've actually come all the way through. So I've actually snuck my way up to that line. I'm right up against it now. And I'm just gonna look down, inspect the port, make sure it's still oval shaped. Get you back in camera here.
let the tool do the cutting. Don't force the tool. And inspect your work fairly regular to make sure everything's still looking good. And the port still looks decent. So, I'm gonna do a little more grinding. And we're actually gonna start up here on the transfers now. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna come in here and just cut that back. I'm actually looking to get rid of all the uh, Sharpie on it this time. You can see what I'm doing right there where I'm actually cutting that back into uh, the cylinder material. Just gonna feather it. I mean, the main goal here is to uh, increase airflow. That's all we're about right now is just increasing the airflow. You see the difference there in between those two. I'm actually going to come on back with this just a little bit more. Like I said, guys, let the tool do the cutting. Don't force it. Light strokes go a long way. I hope y'all can see the difference in uh, the two sides there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind the uh, other side off the camera. That way I can get closer to making a match and I'll be right back with you. Guys, so this is what we got right now. I've actually opened this up a little bit more and tried to uh, break the edges so the air can flow around through and i done the same thing on the other side. Now I've got my intake roof where I want it. Well, intake floor where I want it. Probably not going to polish that up any, but the exhaust port, I will probably put a sanding wheel on and polish it up. Guys, I can't stress it enough. Always check and recheck because, uh, well, I've got this cylinder sitting on here. I just got my hand holding it down, and as you can see, it's opening right there when it starts to open. And we are sitting at almost 70, we're getting closer, but check and recheck your numbers. All right, guys, as I start getting done here, um, what I've got is I've got a little diamond ball hone sitting right here. And that's what I use to uh, break the edge here right around through here. 
on the edge of the plating to keep from scratching the piston up. Come in over here and do the same thing. And then on the intake, I like to come in through the outside with the ball and just work my way around. until I get uh, the coating, that uh, chrome plating, until I get the edge of it broke to the point that it does not hang. And you can stick your thumb down in there and you can rub back and forth. And if you feel anything sharp, then uh, regroup and uh, start the pro uh, process again with, uh, with deburring. And right now all I'm doing is feeling the ports and like I said, we didn't even touch the exhaust in here. We didn't touch it at all. We didn't do anything with it. It's, uh, it was where I wanted it at anyhow. So next step now is to clean the cylinder again. And we're going to clean the far out of it this time and get all those little fines out. Because I sure don't want to wreck a brand new cylinder. And then we'll get this thing put on. Uh, probably in the next video. All right, guys, that's a little bit of uh, the port work that I like to do on these 51 Husqvarna's. And uh, if you like this video, like always, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you could uh, subscribe, it helps the channel out a ton. Um, but next video, we'll have this thing assembled and uh, should have it running.